from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Well, welcome back. It's estimated that 1 million people in the United States are living with multiple sclerosis. Now, this week is Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Week, and so we wanted to ask Dr. Amir Amidi with the Baptist Health Residency Clinic, North Little Rock, to kind of explain more about what MS is. So, good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for being here. So, first of all, what is multiple sclerosis? So, multiple sclerosis is a disorder that going back in the 1700s, 1700s, that was first noted. Mm -hmm. Did not get diagnosed until uh, 1860s, actually, to be actually a disorder. Uh, wow. It's a disorder that affects the brains and your spinal cord nervous system. Uh, it's a I'm sure most people heard of autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. It kind of, it's your body actually reacting and then attacking it itself. So it's one of those disorders that categorize in the autoimmune disorder. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have obviously a million people that are affected in the United States and more people all across, across the world. Right. And so what are um, some of the symptoms that are associated with this diagnosis? So some of the symptoms sitting here, I can say fatigue, mm -hmm. vision changes, hearing loss, difficulty walking, weakness. Um, tingling, numbness sensation that you have, and some of the other ones they mentioned on the screen. Um, you know, if you have these symptoms and we don't have any cause for them and you just don't know where they come from, mm -hmm. those are the times that you need to be thinking, all right, time to make that doctor's appointment. Uh, when you show up to a doctor's appointment, we try to rule out other stuff mm -hmm. first, uh, but you know, MS is one of those rare disorders that we have to keep in mind in the back of our mind as a differential diagnosis. So mm -hmm. if we don't really have an explanation, that's what we might have to work out and get to work. Right, and it says that it's the most common disabling neurological disease among young adults. Can you talk about that? Yes, so the disorder affects mostly the young people and mostly women actually, mm -hmm. more than men, about three times more. Really? Unfortunately, mm. and uh, you know, also when it comes to the race, usually uh, Eastern Europeans okay. are more affected than any other person. So we look at it, we put all of our all of our symptoms, look at it, do some blood work, some imaging such as an MRI probably mm. necessary, and throughout the difference in changes in the MRIs, or if we are able to finally see a lesion or anything, then we can probably diagnose MS. Okay, and so you, you get this diagnosis. What, um, what is the treatment? Is there a cure? How do you manage this? Now, coming into the 21st century, mm -hmm. um, we've been lucky with the advancement of science. We do have medications not to treat the disease, but we can treat the flare-ups. Okay. So if there's, there are flare-ups, we can definitely treat them. And we do have uh, what we call disease-modifying medications that we use, and that stops the flare-ups from happening. So if you get that news of MS at a doctor's office, you know, that tends to put people in a shock yeah. and be worried about it. But, you know, with the advancement, we don't really have a medication for treatment, but we can make sure that the flare-ups don't happen. And if they do happen, we do have medications to help. So as a result, we uh, slow down the progression of the disease and help an individual have a normal life. A normal life. I was just about to ask you, like, what, you know, is... is a diag the prognosis, there's, that's the word. I mean, right. does it ever get better or does it... <laughs> Again, we're not treating it. We're yeah. just helping the symptoms. Mm -hmm. But hoping in the future, you know, having awareness months, awareness yeah. weeks, we get more research done and hopefully take it to the next level. Yes, well, thank you so much, Doctor. Absolutely. Really appreciate your time. Appreciate thank you for joining us this morning. And you can contact Baptist Health by going to baptist-health.com or calling the Baptist Health line at 1-888-BAPTIST.